Hello, hi, and welcome to the five minute podcast saving challenges. Big topic. Everyone is trying to save, and it is a struggle. It's a struggle to save, isn't it? For everybody, it is. I don't care who you are, it's a struggle with the rising costs that we have around us. And I think the pandemic really set it off. I mean, we've always had inflation, but the pandemic, ever since then, it just skyrocketed. And what, and it's everything. It's gas prices. It's rents. It's price of homes. It's our everyday groceries. It's everything. And how are we, how are we supposed to manage all this? Well, you know, many of us are doing it with side hustles. Uh, we have become food delivery drivers. We have, um, I, we do extra jobs working from home. We do whatever we can to create additional streams of income so we can keep ends met. And that's what we do. Okay, that's what we do. But saving money is very hard. It is a very hard thing to do now. But with some focus, we can do it. And But it, it's intentional. It has to be an intentional act with focus. That's what's going to get it done. You got to look at it all the time, at least weekly. When you look at it weekly, if not every day, but weekly at least, then something will happen. Did you know that by saving $5 a day, that's over $1,800 a year, okay? $10, $10 a day. That's over $3,600 for the year and so on. So let's work with those numbers. See if you can save five to $10 a day and get that. Use that money at the end of the year, your gift, your Christmas gift to yourself, use that money to pay off some debt. Use that money to um, buy stocks and create a dividend income portfolio. Use it for something that's going to benefit you not only today, but in the future. Now, people ask me, well, but Deb, you know, when I get my paycheck, every bit of it is used for my bills, to buy groceries, to put gas in the car. I don't have five to ten dollars a day to save because if I get paid once a week that's like thirty five dollars for the week thirty five to seventy dollars and I don't have thirty five to seventy dollars a week to pay I get it I totally get it you know you might have five dollars from the paycheck to save maybe maybe so that's where your side hustles come in Get a DoorDash account, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, just something, and do one order a day. One order. One order a day will pay you five to ten dollars. If you want to, if you want more cash, do two orders. But one order, and use it as that DoorDash is your savings. That is your savings method. Okay, that is what you're going to use for savings. Do one DoorDash. Go to work, and on your way home, do a DoorDash, and then turn it off. And But save that money. Don't use it. Don't cash it out. Just leave it on the card, and leave it there every day, and at the end of the year, then pull it out. I guarantee you, you're going to have more than you expected, because a DoorDash isn't just going to be $5.00. Use rebates. I bought a rebates. Save twenty, thirty dollars a month. Buy you're gonna buy groceries anyway, so buy groceries that you get a rebate. At the end of the year, you're gonna have two hundred and forty to three hundred dollars. That's gonna be excellent to go towards that savings goal. So we're gonna talk more on this topic as time goes. Because this is a huge topic. People need to save money and they need to produce additional streams of income. We're going to talk more on this. So 
let's th think about that. Get a DoorDash and think about Ibotta. Think about those two things of you, ways to save five to ten dollars a day. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Bye.